Hey guys, it's Monica here. I am so excited to introduce you to Real Estate Fight Club's newest partnership, Cyberbacker. Cyberbacker is the best in the business for virtual assistants. How do I know this? Because I am a Cyberbacker customer and I love this company. I have my favorite, Frances. She is my Cyberbacker, been with me for over a year. She's amazing. She makes me better. She's eager to help. She's on time. She's disciplined. She's awesome. And this company, Cyberbacker, has figured out the system from the interviewing process to find out what I need to the interviewing process to interview several Cyberbackers to the onboarding process to the training process. Very buttoned up, very awesome. You and I both know it's time for you to leverage. It's time for you to take that step and Cyberbacker is a really safe, awesome solution. Make sure to mention Fight Club and you will be getting a free gift. All right, do it. Make the call. See ya. All right, I am here with Dave Westall of the North Shore of Lake Tahoe. And we're gonna talk about how to rank number one on Google search. And just so y'all know, he has over 12 thousand views this month alone in his google search how are you dave i'm doing well thanks for having me i'm glad you came on so just give us a little bit of context on like why you think google search is important and why twelve thousand you think it matters and all that and then we'll yeah. dive into how to be number one so, uh, you know, Google is where most people go to start their searches and mm -hmm. figure out, you know, how to solve a problem. And in the real estate business, the problem that we're trying to solve is connecting the best agents with uh, sellers or uh, mm -hmm. buyers as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, and one of the best ways to do that for any agent is to get your Google business page set up optimized and uh, in front of people that are looking for agents in their market. And if you set up your Google business page correctly, you're gonna get a lot of views, you're gonna get in front of people that uh, you otherwise wouldn't have had the opportunity to be in front of, so. Well, I uh, mean, that's true and you're bringing up a good point. <laughs> like if, if over 90% or whatever the stats are of people start their search online, they're looking for real estate agents too. And you've got to pop up places, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, online. there's there, there's uh, a thousand different places that a realtor should be online, whether it's social media, LinkedIn, um, but you know, with, with all the wired devices and phones and, uh, hey, Google is, uh, right. you know, pretty funny thing. We have that on our Wi-Fi system at my house. And um, you just want to be set up effectively. And, you know, one of the tips that uh, that I'll talk about a little bit later is uh, uh, just making sure that you're consistent across all platforms. Because mm -hmm. if you want to rank really well with Google, they're looking at the whole World Wide Web and right. if if your information says something on one page and it says something else on another, you're not going to get the bonus points for that. They want to see consistency and that you are who you say you are. So mm -hmm. you know, it's uh, there's a lot of tricks to this, and you know I'm just a, a vacation home specialist here in North Lake Tahoe, and over the years I've been able to figure this out and. Um, now, when I search for just about any relevant term um, for Tahoe Realtor or Tahoe City Real Estate Agent, all of a sudden, boom, I'm right there in that local yes. search path. That's what we want, too. <laughs> That's what every agent wants. Yeah. And it, you know, it, it's, I, I'm an open book when it comes to, you know, what I'm doing to generate business because everyone will do it a little bit differently. And that's why I was happy to come on here and share what I know. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it. So give us some tips on how to to rank number one on Google. Yeah. So uh, first of all, you got to set up your Google My Business page and it's going to want an address. Um, so you want to get your business name on there. Uh, for me, uh, I did Dave Westall 
Lake Tahoe real estate. And then I did a hyphen Truckee homes for sale. So a lot of experts will tell you not to put Lake Tahoe real estate or keywords into your name okay. um, <clears throat> because that can have a negative impact on your Google business. Um, but my website also is Dave Westall, Lake Tahoe real estate, Truckee homes for sale. So when Google looks at my name for the business, it matches up with my website, which also has uh, right. good traffic. So, uh, you know, for some people that, you know, whether you're in Nashville, Tennessee, you know, you might not put Nashville real estate unless your website says that. Um, but if your website says that, match it up because then you're you're not making not anything up. I think ours hmm. is like, cause we've gotten, we sort of did like some of the things you're gonna talk about. And I feel our, it's gone up a lot. And I think we have keywords in ours too. It says yeah. like, yeah. And, and Google will send like a report. I was yeah. trying to look it up, but Google is gonna send a report that tells you how people, like what are the words that they search that you showed up in too. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's- it uh, cool. The, the insights, you know, I look at them every month and, you know, am I doing better? Am I doing worse? And, you know, just like real estate sales, it's very seasonal. So, you know, right. some months when real estate is booming, your your rankings or your your statistics are a lot higher okay. than other months that are slower. Of course, because that's when they're searching, you know. But yeah, yeah so, so change the name. Yeah, so get your name dialed. You know, like I said, mine is my name, Dave Westall, hyphen Tahoe Real Estate. Um, other people, you know, might do other things, but make sure it matches up. Some people will put their brokerage name in there. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not sure that's really the best way to go because then you're trying to rank against your brokerage. And I think you're always going to struggle with that. Um, but depending on the state you're in, you need to comply with you know, state regulations for licensing. So, right. you know, in my description about my business, I specify my brokerage, my license number, and, you know, seeing how I'm talking about the description of your business, that's where you want to throw in all those keywords that you want to rank for real estate agent, realtor. If you're a luxury home specialist, you want to, you know, you want to uh, talk about that, whatever, you know, your like the neighborhoods five that you're in, or if they're called different things, right? Like if you have yeah. certain town that are called different things. Yeah, exactly. Um, because those, that's people what people search are for, for. Yeah. They might search for like a specific part of the lake or whatever. Yeah. So, um, you know, that, that also gets into like with your Google business page, when you're a realtor, uh, your area of service, I think they call it service area on the back end. Mm -hmm. That's where like I put in every little town and city that I service. Because right. then you don't have to put that into your description. You can keep that clean, uh, you know, sounding very professional without having to say Kings Beach, Carnelian Bay, Tahoe mm -hmm. Vista, whatever it is. Um, you put those service areas in there. And a lot of people miss out on that. It's like, you really need to go in and fill out every single section as best you know to your ability with right. the thought process of what are people typing in or speaking into their phone to find me and right. and, and, and that's going to help you uh, significantly that's a good way to think about it too <clears throat> yeah one of the I other things that i've noticed that have gone helped our us come up in a lot of searches is um we've been posting like different blogs yeah yeah that's, what's your that's recommendation good. for that uh I, I i wish we did more blogging we're you mm -hmm. know so busy with sales but i actually just published a blog uh, a couple hours ago nice. and that was my august 2022 lake tahoe real estate market report and that's something that I consistently do every single month. It gets a ton of traction. I think I rank organically like in the top three for that. Um, but on my Google business page, after I have this on my website, I add it as uh, content. 
um, and I'm forgetting what they call it on, I think it's just posts, mm -hmm. um, but on your business page, you can add posts. And what you want to do is make sure that you can add a button to your post and it's mm -hmm. learn more. And then you have the link to the website and then a cool photo from the blog post. And automatically Google's like, oh, this, this person knows what they're doing. They're reputable. And all of a sudden you're getting more traffic because of that. So, awesome. you know, you should be, you should be posting about what you're doing. Just like on, you know, Instagram, you go tour a house, you know, you could write a blog post about a Tahoe lakefront home. Everyone wants to see that. It's luxury, it's fun. Even if it's not a great house, the views are amazing. And that's what people want to see. So you want to deliver content that people want to see, as well yeah. as getting in those keywords that are going to help you rank higher. So right. I think that's really important. That's good, yeah. How do you find the keywords? <laughs> there, there, there's a lot of uh, tools out there, Google, um, with their um, their ad platform has a keyword tool that's very useful. Uh, you know, one thing that I do a lot, it's like I, I try and put myself in the consumer's mind space mm -hmm. and I go to search and, um, you know, I might say Lake Tahoe real estate. Well, when you go to the bottom of the search results, it gives you like other phrases that are related to it. So those gotcha. are that's, yeah, a, that's, perfect. that's like the best tip ever. It's like, oh, yeah, well, they those. think I sh yeah, okay. use those. Get those keywords in there um, mm -hmm. because that's just going to help you rank higher. So these are all like, you know, trial and error experience things that really help. And, you know, they. they but I think like the, the big thing is, is if you don't have like a Google business page. Get one. Like it's exactly because you're, you're seen, you know, you want to like, build a website. You're going to spend thousands of dollars. There are right. cheap alternatives, but it, it's a big investment at a minimum. And yeah. a Google business page is free. Right. You don't have to pay for hosting for it. You just, but, but it is important just like your website to keep it updated. Um, one of the things that I do, I try and do it a few times a week is add photos yeah. and everyone wants to see cool photos and it really helps generate eyes on your business page. And, you know, if, if you search for Lake Tahoe real estate, you know, you get all the websites that show up, but if you click on the images all of a sudden you start seeing yourself ranking on those images and yeah. it's just a great tool to like create a breadcrumb that takes a buyer or seller back to you. Right. So within those photos that you should be posting regularly, you have the opportunity to um, add a little description mm -hmm. and that's where you just bust out those keywords. Uh, <laughs> you but know, you put your name too, right? name uh yeah. it's already synced to your name it's because already it's synced there. being okay. posted through your business page um so then it just comes down to those keywords and you want to keep it relevant to what the photo is right um, but i i found great success with that and i think that people appreciate high quality photos um that's but if why you're like the type of person that really don't you're you're at zero or whatever and you really can't do a couple times a week do you think like just the first expectation of once a month seems reasonable. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely think so. Uh, the other thing I was gonna bring up is that they, when you set up your business on here, they wanna see photos of where you're working. Okay. So you gotta take photos of like the exterior of your building, the signage that's at the street, your front desk, your desk that you actually work at. Okay. Um, because they create like all these subcategories, excuse me, um, interior photos, exterior photos. Um, so think, doing that could when you get it set up. Because most agents are working like from home, right? So like, could those be houses? Uh, it could be, but you really, you know, 
you're going to set up your business profile with a specific address. Okay. And for some people, maybe that is their home address because they don't have a brick and mortar office. They just right. work from home and then they go meet clients. And if they have to have an important meeting, maybe they pop by their brokerage or, you know, do an offsite visit. But whatever your address is, photos of that. You know, I gotcha. what's, what's your workspace? Because people will need to find that address. So Google likes that. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> I also think like one of the ways that we got started, if people are like struggling a little bit, is if they do a newsletter. So we do like a newsletter every week and then we just post it there too. Yeah. It's like we do like a video that's associated with the newsletter and like that just gets posted as well. And so it's just like repurposing content, you know? Exactly. Yeah. It's just putting the content out to, you know, multiple sources. And right. You know, the the more places that someone can find something, uh, the better off you're going to be. And, you know, Google sees it as being relevant content. Right. Um, so I think, you know, doing that is important. You know, one thing that, that I have done that, uh, you know, this is one of my top tricks is that uh, Yahoo Small Business, um, which is now run by Verizon, um, has a page where you can go in there and you can have it synced to your Google business page, but it broadcasts the same information. I was checking it before this. Uh -huh. and, and, and I think my information is being broadcasted to like 71 different um, sites. Wow. So that, yeah. So that's like a Yahoo page, Foursquare all these different um, you know, uh, business profiles that are out there. And the reason I like the Yahoo small business is that it keeps all the information consistent. So if I add photos to Google, they end up in Yahoo or whatever the other site is. Right. And, it, and it's just a really great way to have consistency across all platforms. You know, there is a cost to that, but you know, Luckily, I find it fairly affordable, and I think it's eighty-nine dollars a quarter. So, okay. you know, if you can afford that, I, th I think it's a, a valuable tool to use to just to, to keep ride, the ride higher. Up in the, that you're getting out there. Yeah, and, and it's easy. You don't have to go to seventy-one websites and set up a profile. You go to one. You go to one web page. It's it like the MLS. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, do you have a bonus tip for us, Dave? Uh, that might have been the bonus tip. Was that your bonus there. tip? <laughs> I thought you were going to say something about reviews. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, you know, I got lost here. I'm having so much fun in this conversation. <laughs> so, yeah, reviews. You know, everyone should be trying to gather a review. It, after every single sale that takes place. But you think and, like the reviews on Google is better than like review on Zillow? Uh, I have more reviews on Zillow than I do on Google. Um, but when you, you know, say you search Lake Tahoe real estate um, and then you see these other profiles for your competition, well, they take into consideration who has the most reviews. So, yeah. you know, if you're just starting out, ask your favorite lender for a review, ask your favorite property manager, a colleague, you know. Your mom. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hit up my mom. I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's a great way to get a few good reviews, let people, you know, experience who you are from a different perspective. Um, but you definitely want the reviews, you know, whenever I do a deal, I'm always asking for the Google review, the Zillow review and Yelp. And, okay. you know, some people will do more than that, but, you know, I, I, uh, I chase after those three and I have the most Zillow reviews, um, in your Google business page, as I scroll through mine it shows you, you know, how many reviews you have. It shows you how many Facebook reviews you have. Um, you know, there's a million platforms you can get right. reviewed on. So you really have to choose 
what you think you're going to get the best gain from. For right. me, it's Google, Zillow, and Yelp. Um, but get those reviews. It, you know, even as a seasoned agent that's been around a long time, it, it, it's always a little scary to ask for a review. You're like, oh, <laughs> Are they gonna, you know, write nice things? But you know, if you work hard and you try your best, and you know, you're solving problems and adding efficiency to the transaction, most people are gonna appreciate that. And right. you know, they might only write a sentence or so, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. As long as that, it's it's all the stars, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Dave, if people, I'll oh, sorry, were you gonna say something else? No, I was just mumbling. <laughs> if um if people have a referral for you um in Lake Tahoe, what is the best way to get a hold of you? Uh best way to get a hold of me is through my website, which is westallrealestate.com. And on there you can get my contact information and all my social Easy. media oh, yeah. contacts. Easy. Yeah. yeah. yeah just <laughs> Google Tahoe City real estate agent. Boom. You'll see it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> awesome. Well, I really appreciate you being on. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. This was uh, really fun. See ya. Take care. What we need right now is a source for great leads. And I found it. It is called Pipeline Pro Tools. So, about 90 days ago, I booked a demo with them. And in that demo, we reverse engineered my business. We figured out how many leads we needed to get in order to get to the closings that we want. And they gave me a playbook to use in order to get that. So I've been using it for 90 days. We've gotten 12 qualified leads and about half of them are already under contract or closed, which is great. And it is right now my number one source for my best leads that I'm getting. I love this thing. I'm about to ramp up the number of leads um, that I get with them as well. So, and you might think it's expensive and it's not. So I was looking for something that's very inexpensive, like affordable to everyone, but also generating great leads. We don't want crap leads. So what you do in order to get this, because I called them and I wanted to partner with them because I was like, this is exactly what our audience has been looking for. So they set up something specific just for us, just for Fight Club listeners. So you would go to pipelineprotools.com slash fight club, and then you go to the demo and the demo will show you how many leads you need in order to get the number of closings that you want to get. And then they will give you the playbook that I'm using, my number one playbook for getting leads. And then you can use it too, and we can have happy closings. So go to pipelineprotools.com slash bike club, book and go to the demo and get all the leads. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a podcast.